What well, I go on everybody today, I'm in Miami and we're 441 meets 183rd Street. Chef Kofi in there cooking up amazing plant-based dishes using mushrooms and natural ingredients, creating his own style, fusing Asian cuisine with Jamaican, bringing us that out of many one flavors. This is Dub and Dub. <laughs> Cool, all gone. Respect, brother. Make move, chef move, aka chef Kobe. Welcome to Dove and Grub at Tree Lion. You just call me around and I can tell you the smell as I go through the curtain. The smell is normal already. Yeah, and then give it a little hockey. The so, fire yeah. Blaze. Chef, you have blaze fire already, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, we're here about to get the ikin grilling, you know what I mean? Here's a Japanese style grill because you know what they say, out of many, one people. So, Absolutely. So we have all different type of cultures within our culture, you know? So this is step one of getting the jerk ikin ready for the grill, you know? So we use, we use wood fire. It's a pit that can't get pimento wood, but you know, this is some hard lump wood charcoal. Yeah, man. So I set it. All right, now the star of the show is this. The oyster mushroom. This is our oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom, sir. So with this, so the theme of Dub and Grub is plant-based street food, right? Um, all natural. So I came up with this style. Right now I'm just, I'm letting you guys know I'm the mushroom done. We use mushrooms in different styles, fashion, textures. So one time I was cooking for my brethren and I was like, yo, I need to do something new. I'm going to put this pan on the grill and the man say, yo, this is revolutionary. So if everybody in Jamaica was grilling mushrooms, growing mushrooms in their backyard, in their cupboard, in their attic, all about, and putting this on the grill, trust me, there wouldn't be no dependence on chicken. Which virgin tell you that? Cran man, Cranix man. Uh, whoa. <laughs> he was the first person who tried the jerk ikin. Trust me. So... We're going to put this, we're going to season it up with my special jerk season blend. Not mine's, but trust me, this brand here, I love this brand. All so right. this, this Japanese style grill is made so that you get high heat off of it. And then it cooks right on top of it. And you cook it and it cooks quick, fast. But you get all of that flavor coming up through it. Yo, I am not, this is not, I'm not even like promoing this brand. But at the same time, I am. I don't jerk without my walkers wood. I can make my own jerk season, but trust me, the peppers that grow here, it's just not the same. We have some good hot scotches that's grow out in Davy, but it's not the same because guess what, you're getting thyme that's grown in Jamaica. Pimento berries, which is called allspice. So I don't jerk without my, my walkers wood, you know? So I slap a little bit of this on here. And then the season blend. Yes, sir. This is your season yeah, this, blend. Yeah, this is my season blend. Captain Cup Veggie Season Blend. And the reason why I made this season blend because I noticed that um, Jamaican food uses a lot of muggy. And, Jeez, I'm peas, trust me. And, and <laughs> I don't, don't get me wrong, I, I don't know if that's what makes Jamaican food because I've heard a lot of people say, yo, they just use seasoning. So there are great chefs in Jamaica and cooks, mom pops that are using um, good ingredients without Maggi and when you turn around and look at the Maggi ingredients not to not Maggi But it's just too much things that I can't pronounce. You know what I mean? This goes back to what we're just saying Tired of the Maggi. Everything have Maggi flavor. Maggi everything. Right, so this is grapeseed oil, right? So I'm prepping the mushrooms for the, the grill. This is a Bichutan style Japanese grill, you know, and I like, to, I like to link up with other cultures and infuse my food that loves Jamaica. As you guys know, Japan has a huge dancehall culture. So I said it's only right that, you know, we, we share different things. You know, they have dancehall and I use the Bichitan grill, you know? So That's this awesome. is, this right here is ready to go. This was already kind of pre-marinated, um, pre-cooked. Pre so now we go straight to the grill. All right, so just like chicken, just like chicken. So you just lay it on to the lay it like on that. and just make it sizzle, you know. Hear that sizzle popping up already. 
and you smell that jerk seasoning does start to ignite and flake up in your nostril. <laughs> yeah, man, Walker's Wood is a pretty good seasoning here in America, you know? Trust me. Um, so now, I let this go. So with this, this is our, this can, just a disclaimer, the mushrooms them can't eat raw, right? So I'm not really cooking the mushrooms. What I'm doing is I'm drying out the mushrooms. That's my technique. I'm drying out the mushrooms to give it a more palatable texture because a lot of people don't like the chewiness of the mushroom. So that was one of the reasons why I even created this dish because I noticed that some people may not like one of my other popular dishes, which is the knocksteel. So the knocksteel, when you try that knocksteel, trust me, it's the next best thing to oxtail. So let's go and let this cook. And then we're gonna turn it, you're gonna see that char in the sun and that's what's gonna give it this thing. Smoky flavor and big vibes, you know? Dub and grub way. So now we're ready to turn. So now, watch out. So you're getting char marks on it. Cool, man. Cool, man. And you're getting that little bit of char, especially from the jerk sauce that went pop and give that flavor. Right, so so all what you see going on right now is just the mushroom shrinking and, it, and, and the heat is evaporating the moisture within the mushroom, right? So that will leave me with a nice, Chewy texture, but not chewing like you're chewing gum. You know what I mean? You know? Jerk it, kid. Don't eat that recipe or you'll end up missing. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. Yeah, so yeah, this is it. So let this cook. And it cooks very fast, you know, so let it cook for an additional but maybe two. As you say, you're not cooking it, you're just dehydrating it. In a in pretty much in the essence, right? Because like I said me. it's already cooked, you know what I mean? But um, I just want to get rid of some of that moisture that was in there because the, 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 uh, the more moisture that's been released out of the mushroom is just, it's just straight, it's almost like meat, chicken, you know what I mean? It just mimics. Yes, yes, so this is it, man, that is it. All right, so let this go and cook a little bit more. It actually also looks like it as well. Like a little chicken thigh. Yeah, man. <laughs> like a boneless chicken thigh, eh? Chipotle, don't thief this, or you will end up missing. missing. <laughs> All right. All right, so. So the next phase is. We have some lion's mane. Nice. Lion's mane. Not lion's mane mushroom, right? So I'm going to put this on the flat top grill now to give it a, a different texture, because we're going to put this in the, the, the stir fry teriyaki, you know? We call it veggie high main. It's a little avocado oil spray. Captain Cuff veggie season blend. Look at salt and pepper. And go on and make it do it do, you know? Make it do it thing. So we use a plethora of mushrooms. We use about four or five different mushrooms in house. And our clientele appreciate that because they don't come in here and get a whole bunch of soy products, you know what I mean? Yeah. They get, they come in here and get, it's, we, that's why we brand ourselves as plant-based. And we say plants, plants that you can recognize and not plant like from out of a, a, a plant factory, you feel what I'm saying? But we do have the veggie meat products for the people who are transitioned because we do promote the transitional people also who wants to, to wane away from the meat, but still needs to have that texture. So the veggie meat products like the chunks and the veggie chicken, veggie beef, those products are also good too, you know what I mean? But the hard part being is they come up for the mushroom, they come up for the icky, the crispy, the fry, the jerk. Yeah, man. All right, I'll let you know when I'm ready, yeah? No problem. Is the famous, yes man, this is the new one that just dropped. This is the <laughs> cocoa bread. Ikin sandwich. Ikin sandwich. What kind of mushroom do you have in this, this one? This one is a lion's, lion's mane. mane. So you can get this with the lion's mane, the jerk oyster mushroom, or the crispy oyster mushroom. But watch that cocoa bread, soft like a pillow. Yeah, man, butter. 
And it's a vegetarian cocoa bread. It's a vegetarian yes, cocoa bread. No, no, so none of that in there. Yeah, so straight, 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 straight. Niceness, you know? Yeah, man. All right. Station now, so I ain't gonna really be doing too much talking, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Straight action pack. It's so a first, straight action. Yeah. Rasta pasta. So rasta pasta. What kind of ingredients? All right. You so have? the rasta pasta you now is getting some carrot, cabbage, cucumber, onions, carrot. Boom. Then we are gonna do. No one has switch it up and move. <laughs> Then we have the, the rice and peas, veggie fried rice. Rice and peas, veggie fried rice. First, you have to see that one there. First, may I hear about that one there. All right, rasta pasta looking the good. Action. Now we have the jerk chicken for the rasta pasta with some cherry tomatoes. <laughs> action pump. You, saw, when you, you see up here, to make it, you have to be a good line cook. You have to be a good manager. <laughs> All right, boom. Rice and peas. Kidney beans from Jamaica, you know? Get yeah, them man. from Miss Mark's shop. <laughs> Big up Miss Mark. Yeah. Sesame oil. All right. All right. Blazing, blazing. So then now we cook with some alkaline water. We don't use water from the pipe when we are cooking food. Filtered water. First, I see that style. <laughs> All right. No fries, no fries. So this is our jerk oyster teriyaki sauce, soy free. All right, here comes the magic now. Just a little water. Ah. Does then no, then we have the the coconut milk rasta pasta al veg dough. This is rasta pasta al veg dough. Al veg dough. Al veg dough. All, all, ve all vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> that bad. <laughs> al veg dough. Captain Cuff veggie season blend. Yo, let me get three black boxes, please. All right, we clean as we go around here. You know what I mean? So, boom. This is this ready. Right, some please. <laughs> Ready. The wipe out, the, the wipe out, everything fast, everything fast. Hell of us, sure. Technique, 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 technique. Easy move, you know? All right. This is for the, the veggie handmade noodles. Let that cook. Aching is down. So now we put the, we spray with the avocado oil. Now we drop in for the, the coca bread sandwich. All right, so we're about to plate up. We're about to plate up the rasta pasta. Check me out. Ready? Ready for your chef. Jerk eating rasta pasta. Back to the store. Mm. It's just Trigger, a how that looking? How that looking? How that looking? Yeah, coming out. All right. This is not a cook shop. Right. This is a proper restaurant where you're getting authentic flavors. Look at this. Rice and peas fried rice. Jamaica, we need to start being more innovative with our food, yo. Yeah, man. Come on, man. One thing we talk about is innovation and the mindset that you have. Warica, do me a favor. Put some Noxtel in this box, please. All right, so now I put the lion's man down. So look. All right, here you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Clean as you go. All right. All right, no worries. All right, throwing the noodles now. Look at agua. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah Noxtel and little chickpeas. Chickpeas? Yeah. Cotton. Being a good land cook in this industry is what's going to set you apart, especially when it comes down to plant-based foods, you know? Absolutely. Because guess what? Veggies cannot sit on in a steam table all day. Veggies for cooked to order, fresh, hot and ready. Straight off the fire, into the plate, into the customer so, hand. So on our menu, we have a section of the menu called Sizzle Up. We're sizzling right now, not sure. Sizzling man, I cook. This is like no experience, just being in here with Chef Kofi. We must have the line going, the fire going, three pots blazing, hey, the grid so blazing. Look, I can't let you leave here without one of our most famous tacos. For you and your virgin, the jerk ikin taco. Jerk ikin taco. Coco bread ready? Go ahead and get that sandwich looking nice and clean. Marco, pass me a taco box, please. All right, this is almost ready. Look at it, nice and beautiful. Little Asian inspired with little jerk Jamaican flavors, you know? All right. So what I do now to bring out the flavors, I squeeze a little lime juice on there. All right, you ready? I'm about to play it up. Catch me, catch me, I'm moving fast. Daniel. You Beautiful. can't get them started nowhere, man. Beautiful. Come on. Drigo! Yes, Maka, let me get the... Oh, so now we got another vibes. Watch out, the crispy ikin. Crispy ikin up and ready. All right, this is the avocado crema. All these flavors that we use, we're familiar with it. We just put them in different styles. Coconut milk and avocados, lime, salt and pepper, easy sauce. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then pico the guy. So we even have a little Mexican influence here. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Food boss. This was less than ten minutes. I'm telling you, this experience is like none other. The flavors, the fusion, the creativity, the inspiration. Boy, this is not normal. And this is play. Imagine if I was cooking meat. Oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, food boss, are you this? My respect. The inspiration, brother, that was unbelievable. Just the fusion, the flavors that you bring into the table, the different aspects of creation with plant-based foods. As you said, this is something that our foods are really missing, the creativity. Our matter says it out of many one people. You're doing it in the kitchen. What's the inspiration? So the inspiration is from 2010 to 2016. I was in the United States Army as a, as a cook. So I've traveled all over. I lived in Germany. I've been to Afghanistan three times, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. So while I was wow. on um, special missions, catering for a small group of special force soldiers, I was able to kind of like expand and like read and just, I started to realize that the Caribbean cuisine can fuse with, with um, different cultures around the world, ingredients and spices, you feel what I'm saying? So um, and then I went to school in New York, one vegan and one non-vegan. So I have all this experience and world travel that I always find my way coming right back around to Jamaican flavors, specifically in the Caribbean. Yeah. So I say, you know, I love Jamaican food, but you know what? I noticed that Jamaica uses a lot of coconut milks, just like um, Thailand. So I found myself, you know, using a lot of Thai ingredients in my cooking, you know what I mean? So I think it's just, I just fuse with cultures that are compatible to our, our taste buds. But for the most part, I know that you're, you're used to seeing the curries, the brown stews, um, the jerks in the same format everywhere you go. 
it, that's fine, that's good because a bad jerk chicken is a bad jerk chicken. But guess what? You can do more with that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You can put coconut minos in jerk season and make a, a soy free teriyaki sauce. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, it's just all about just expanding the mind. And a lot of it has to do with education and exposure, experience, too. You know exposure. what I mean? Exposure and experience. Absolutely. Boy, I'm going to lie. Big up yourself. Thank you so much for this experience and this exposure to me yeah. of plant based foods, mushrooms, especially. Mushroom done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Big up, chef. Respect. Yo, bless. Bless up. All right. Snow, and there is no more rich boy bread. First, I think I'm going to try that. I have to try it. Absolutely, the cocoa bread and the sheer veracity, the size of it. It's almost like, look at that. Look at that. Wow. This is not chicken. It's Aikin. This is not chicken, this is Aikin. The flavors are so fresh, so pronounced, so clean. The cleanliness of it is just unbelievable. And it's fried almost like I couldn't tell the difference if you didn't tell me. I couldn't tell that. This was a mushroom. This is unbelievable. Oh, wow. Mm. The intrusion of flavors. Oh, my God. This is something where you'd have to come to try this. I can't, even, this is just absolutely mind blowing. The taste. This is food art. That's exactly what this is. And you can't get better than this. You bite into that. Whatever, whatever I've been doing all my life. The, speechless. There's very few times that I've come across food that has left me without anything to say and this is one of those times and this is just the first bite wow i mean just to look at it it actually mimics the look of meat the crunchiness the flavors wow this is the thing that will change the world because food like this i wouldn't need a fried chicken if i got food like this wouldn't need it at all. I just had to tell the chef, this is life-changing food. This is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. The flavors, the taste, the textures, the colors, the, the way it's put together is it's absolutely unbelievable. This, wow. I know we're going into a taco. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm. Healthy, clean. But we have a misconception that healthy food can be bland. That's not the case with this. This is flavorful, this is unique. Flavors, the mixture of that, the fusion of that wit. Mexican flavors and the Jamaican aspect behind it. This is what Arthur many one people represent. And he's not only doing it by the matter, he's doing it with food. Wow. Brother. Yo, no disrespect to anybody who has come before or who will come after, but this is the best plant-based food. Just off of what I've had so far, the best plant-based food I've ever had. I must say. And this is somebody coming from somebody that's not. I've never been a mushroom fan, but Jesus, please, brother. Mm. Everything. Everything. The Asian inspired flavors are just bold, they're bright, and they're healthy. There's no, no soy sauce in there. None of the unhealthy stuff that's usually added. Let's not even call that three letter word. Even if I spell it out, it's still going to get the name MSG, the worst thing that you could have. I get headaches from that. 
and this these things wow mm. the noodles are sweet the veggies are crunchy the textures are just going together real well it's better than enough Jamaican Chinese food but it's a fusion Yo, set yourself good for this one fried rice and peas the peas are from Jamaica so not only that but a lot of the ingredients are ingredients that have been brought here by him bought here through shops that you know people coming up to Miami bringing up stuff these ingredients are fresh they're seasoned they're Jamaican ingredients and the fusion aspect of it you saw when he put in there this was fueled with some sauce that doesn't have any soy sauce in there but was fried up no oh. Oh gosh, man. This is not fair. This is not fair. It's a crime for the world not to know about eating this healthy and eating this healthy tasting so good. Mm. Everything has a crunch, has a crisp, has a flavor that is so unique, so bold, but yet so satisfying and so tasty and so clean. It's as I said, it's a crime for the world not to try this and taste the unique aspect of the fusions, the cultures coming together to create such mind-blowing, mesmerizing dishes. Never thought I would have found food like this that I would enjoy so much. That is healthy, vegan food, Asian twist, Asian-inspired flavors, but real Jamaican cooking. The taste in the coconut milk. The rice is soft, the texture is there, that light fry on the flat top, add a little char to it, but it's just beautiful with strong flavors. The milk adds a sweetness to it, that coconut milk that's in there, that's natural coconut milk. There's no powders, no additives, no preservatives, none of that. That's where all of that, that's where all of that change the script and come again. This is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the experiences where you have to stop and just take a ease back. The show in the kitchen and I have to look when I introspect and say, oh, there's absolutely some great things that you can do with plant-based food. You can eat healthy and have great tasting food while eating healthy. Undoubtedly, we have to go try this next. This is one of the stars, one of his most famous dishes, the Rasta pasta. Yo, chef said it a while ago. This can taste so. Many other chefs need to be with, well, many other restaurants need to be thankful that him not cooking meat. Believe me. Yeah, I want to try this piece of jerk chicken. Give me jerk, see? I can't even, even tell the difference. Oh my God. Oh. The jerk season is pronounced. The char on it lets out. As I said, dehydrated it, didn't cook it. The flavor is there, that jerk sauce is giving you a nice heat, nice little crunch of the char, and everything just working together to give you an amazing taste, amazing balance. And it's just simply unique very inspirational this is an experience that i'll probably never forget for my life this is poor memory now i i i must admit i didn't know vegan food plant-based food to taste this good wow